right, welcome back to All for Taste. Uh, today we're drinking some, uh, if you can see it over there, the Pabst Blue Ribbon. By the way, <laughs> Pabst Blue Ribbon, there you go. Established in uh, 1844 in Milwaukee. Um, I think in 19, uh, yeah, eight, I'm sorry, 18, 1893 it won, uh, now according to the can, it says it won the America's, <coughs> excuse me, America's Best. Um, Funny thing is, though, I look all over the internet. There's no proof of that. There's nothing that says that except for they claim it. So, but either way, um, you know, this is a good economy beer. This is a nice lager, an American lager. Like I said, it was established in Milwaukee in uh, 1844. Of course, now it's owned by Miller Brewing Company, um, out of and the headquarters out of L.A. Yay! Um, of course, Miller has you know brewing facilities all over the U.S. So who knows where this exact can was made? Of course, here it says. Um, right here on the side, it does say uh, Paps Brewing Company, P.O. Box 739, Milwaukee. Of course, that's their mailing address, but who knows where it actually was brewed at. But uh, anyway, um, so anyway, that's Milwaukee's Best. There's the, uh, not Milwaukee's Best, <laughs> that's another beer. Uh, that's uh, Paps Blue Ribbon. There is the beer, a nice, uh, you know, yellow. That's a, that's a typical, um, typical American lager. Really, really nice yellow color completely see-through because it's filtered as you know as all get out um, yeah by the way I'm under the truck for a good reason I'm actually uh, my fuel pump went out so I'm under the truck I'm talking about a truck here comes one going by and it's pretty uh, pretty loud so give it a second um, anyway under the truck here because my fuel pump went out and I'm debating whether I should either drop the tank to replace it which I don't want to do I don't want to drop the fuel tank or I can just lift the bed. Now I'm looking under here to see how many bolts. I think according to everything I read, it's got one, two, three, four, four bolts on each side underneath here. So there's eight bolts plus the uh, the wiring harness underneath there. Got one, two, three, four. I think four little things that unplug. So that's nice and easy. Also, I got to undo the fuel um, fuel hose or the fuel you know the intake little uh, tube there. There's a couple little bolts there, so other than that, it should be pretty easy. Just get some muscle to help me pull it up and uh, move it off and maybe move it in the middle of the, um, the driveway. But anyway, so that's why I'm underneath the truck. Now, I'm underneath the truck, working on the truck. Nothing like a nice American lager to, uh, to down while I'm doing this. Of course, I normally would drink out of the can, but for you guys, I wanted you to see it. Of course, everybody knows what PBR looks like. It's nice and yellow, uh, nice carbonation from the bottom. If you had a decent head, um, of course, I've drank a few of these already. I've already drank... You know, it's a 24 ounce. I drank uh, most of it already. Poured it in here so you can see it. But uh, yeah, let's get out from underneath here and I'll uh, take a good old drink of it, shall I? All right. So uh, you know, we all know the nice American lager look. I mean, it looks very, very typical. Um, let's go ahead and uh, whiff on it, shall we? Woo! Yeah, that's sweet. You know, that's sweet adjunct smell. Um, you got, you got the, the corn smell. Woo, nice corn. I mean, it smells good. This is this is what a, when I was younger, of course, if somebody says, give me a beer, this is, you know, this is what I would think a beer is. It's a, um, you know, just a lager. It's got that sweet smell, that corny smell. A little grainy, you can smell the grains, of course. But that's a beer. Reminds me of when I was young, my dad used to go to the little bar down the street, um, take me to go get my hair cut, which was right next door. I'd go to the barber shop. I'd get my hair cut um, and he of course would go in there and drink in the bar and when I was done I'd go in there bear in the bar and uh, you know and go get him I say go get him it's not like I went and got him when we left I went in there and he stayed for a little longer I'd play some you know games whatever they had shuffleboard you know the little not, I say shuffleboard not the big huge where old people play the shuffleboard you know it's about this long you got the, the sand on it and you play with a little disc and you used to play that um, you know, and pinball and whatever they had there, but he'd be drinking all, all day long. But, uh, yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Good memories, if nothing else. PBR, good memories. Of course, um, PBR was really big back in the 70s. Um, I think 77 was their biggest selling year, if I'm not mistaken. I looked it up a little while ago. I think it's what it said, 77. Um, you know, since then, sales, of course, went down when new beers came on the market, especially craft beers started coming in the mid to late 80s. I say craft beers, like Anchor and, you know, the few things there. Um, but yeah, it's got a, uh, a new surge here in the, in the, um, 
Well, I think since since 2006, it's it's started getting a surge from uh, the college kids and spring breakers and that kind of thing because it's really cheap, really good. I've got your light beers. F your light beers. I like uh, I like this. You know, I like something like this. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and drink it, shall we? Yeah, it's got that typical lager taste, American lager taste. You got your sweet taste from the, um, you know, the adjuncts and stuff. You got your corn taste. You know, malty, bready, you know, biscuity. You know, not bad for a good beer. You just want to down while you're working real hard up underneath the truck. Gonna be working on the truck trying to get this bed taken off. Um, so. Yeah, let me sweat my butt off. Here it is, by the way. It's uh, March 1st. Um, 70 degrees out here, Panama City, Florida. Beautiful weather. Nice blue skies. And I'm underneath the truck, so nothing better than a good PBR to uh, keep me quenched, right? Ah, here we go. Good stuff. So, uh, anyway, here we go. Pat's Blue Ribbon. American Lager. Says this is the original Pabst Blue Ribbon beer, nature's choicest products. Products provided its prized flavor. Only the finest hops and grains are used. Selected as America's best in 1893. So, all right, here we go. Peace.